Let's switch and look at a potential 2016 Republican candidate who today will be in North Carolina. And a lot of people are wondering about his judgment here. Rand Paul, the junior senator from Kentucky, will be down in North Carolina. Tomorrow, there's a very important Senate primary there. Now, there's eight candidates in the field. The establishment candidate is Tom Tillis. Uh, Rand Paul will be there, Peter, for Greg Brannon, who's sort of a Tea Party challenger. Um, Brannon is viewed as a flawed candidate by many. What is the risk for Rand Paul here? The establishment has put a lot of money behind Tom Tillis. They are hoping he gets to 40% of this primary tomorrow. That means no runoff. That means millions of dollars will be saved mm -hmm. to focus on the Democrat. If Rand Paul goes down there and pulls Tom, helps pull Tom Tillis down below 40, mm -hmm. won't this months of work to curry favor with the establishment maybe be flushed? Yeah, this is, this is really fascinating on several levels. One is just what you said. If he forces a runoff here, that is going to aggravate a lot of establishment Republicans. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce is down there. He has the sympathies of the NRSC. Uh, Mitch McConnell wants Tom Tillis to win. So if this candidate gets in a runoff and forces Republicans to have two and a half months of expensive Republican infighting, that's going to be a problem, especially after all of this commentary about how Rand Paul has courted the Republican establishment. But it's not just that. Like you mentioned, a lot of Republicans are asking questions about Rand Paul's judgment here because Greg Brannon is sort of your typical constitutionalist, libertarian, conservative, the kind of candidate that Rand Paul you would expect to support. But uh, he was recently found liable by a jury for misleading investors in a company he led. And a lot of people are wondering, why is he doing this at the last minute? There's a big gamble here. He could also go down and Brandon could lose badly. And there could be a runoff, which would sort of sully his brand a little bit. Sully his brand. So let's, a lot of people will watch that today, but more people are going to remember Rand Paul's date to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> uh, Rupert Murdoch, you might know him. He's sort of big in the media business. He owns this company called, I think it's Fox News, uh, that has a lot of sway over Republican politics. Maggie Haberman, look at this picture in the New York Times. Rand Paul, uh, the Wall Street <laughs> Journal, also owned by Rupert Murdoch, mm -hmm. very skeptical of Rand Paul's foreign policy, mm -hmm. his views on other issues. Uh, this, I view, is rather brilliant by Rand Paul. Uh, what do you make of it? Rand Paul, my colleague Alex, colleague Alex Burns and I reported a couple of months ago that Rand Paul had a private meeting with Rupert Murdoch. This is very much the fruit of that labor. Right. He's making a very smart play. He knows that Murdoch is incredibly influential. He knows that Murdoch is very skeptical of him. He knows that people around Murdoch are very skeptical of him. He's going to need some help from Murdoch. Murdoch is incredibly influential. The role that Fox News can play in the Republican primary is very important. Rand Paul is an interesting guy.